the surface mining methods. So you know that uh, the, the these are the coal seams. Three coal seams are there. This is the bottom coal seam, this is the middle coal seam, and this is the top coal seam. And above the top coal seam, this white portion is the waste material, your overburden material. So you have to mine these three coal seam. Uh, uh, in between the middle coal seam and the bottom coal seam, huge amount of uh, overburden material, waste material is also there. So uh, uh, there are, this is 30 meter, this is 30 meter. So this is the overburden, the uh, waste rock which is lying above the coal seam is called your overburden and in between two coal seams the burden uh, means which lies between two coal seams interburden this is the interburden uh, between the two coal seams okay so you have to uh, start mining for starting the mining you have to remove this overburden. Top layer of overburden is to be removed to expose the coal. This is the black portion is your coal, which is to be mined by removing the overburden. So then uh, you have to form the benches. You have to proceed and form the benches. Then uh, this is the way you have to carry out the mining operations, formation of benches. Then further, you have to go and uh, you have to take the coal. Uh, so this is the top layer of coal you are taking now. Then uh, the second layer of coal is exposed now. This is the second layer of coal to mine. The second seam, coal seam is exposed now. You are going to mine it. Then this is the way you have to form the benches and proceed. And this is the way the benches are formed in surface mines. This is the way that now the third coal seam is exposed. Now the third coal seam is exposed. And uh, this is the angle of uh, pit slope angle, overall pit slope angle. This angle is overall pit slope angle. Okay. This is the way how the mining is carried out in benches. Then that is one method of mining. There is a second method of mining is also there. So these are the coal seams. Three coal seams are there. Overburden, interburden, interburden is there. So now you can start the transverse direction. You can take this coal in this direction also. Second method of mining. This is the method of mining followed transversely. So this is the way how the coal is taken out. This is the way how the coal is taken out. So this is the formation of benches. This is the uh, direction of movement of the benches. This is the direction of movement of the benches. So this is the way how the coal is mined by surface mining methods. So gradually you are forming the benches and removing the coal, taking out the coal by uh, removing the water burden. So this is, in this case, the angle of overall pit slope angle is greater than the previous method of mining. So this is the way how the mining is carried out. This is the way how the mining is carried out to take out the coal deposit from the seam. Okay, so let us go to this uh, methods of the extraction. Uh, this is the same thing. Equipment selection. So uh, we were discussing about the selection of equipment in open cast mines. Equipment selection. Equipment selection in open cast mines. This is the case study of Aditya limestone mines. Case study of Aditya limestone mines. So the selection of proper 
fleet of equipment is a big challenge for a mining engineer. Now, globally, most of the manufacturers are coming up with new variants machineries. In mining industry, maintenance cost plays a vital role in overall raising cost of the minerals. It is therefore decided to go for higher capacity equipment with low fuel consumption and eco-friendly alternatives. So the most of the open cast mines have been operating on a standard pattern of heavy earth moving machineries. Besides globally, most manufacturers are coming up with new variants of heavy earth moving machineries having some or other changes to suit the environmental conditions, safety requirements, and other standards. This is further compounded with non-availability of spare parts and after-sale services from the manufacturers. This review is an attempt to discuss some of the important points while heavy earth-moving machineries are selected for a large open-cast project. The selection of proper fleet of heavy earth moving machineries is a big challenge for a mining engineer for new projects as well as for a running mine. The running mines have a restriction of existing machines and conditions, whereas for a new project, various combinations of heavy earth moving machineries can be worked out. Before selection of a fleet of heavy earth moving machinery, an extensive study is to be carried out on the details available from various suppliers. In mining industry, maintenance cost also plays a vital role in overall raising cost of the minerals. Therefore, it should be given due care at the time of equipment selection. There are certain factors you have to take into account while selecting the heavy earth moving machineries in a like the geology of the deposit, nature of the deposit, topography of the deposit, quality of the deposit, blasting restrictions imposed by the rules and regulations, crosser capacity of the mine, quantity of crop to be handled. So depending on these factors, you have to select the heavy art moving machinery. So the factors are geological factors, nature of the coal deposit or mineral deposit, topography of the area where the mine is situated, quality of the deposit, whether it is a low grade or high grade deposit, blasting restrictions, crosser capacity, quantity of rock to be handled annually. So these are the factors you have to take into account while selecting the heavy earth moving equipment. Not only that, there are certain other factors are also there like type and thickness of the overburden you are going to handle, ergonomics and safety features of the mining equipment, <coughs> availability of heavy earth moving equipment in the market, service support for the equipment after purchasing the equipment, there should be proper service support matching of the dumpers, capital investment required, how much money is necessary for the purchase of the equipment, cost economics, you have to calculate the profit or loss of the mine, eco-friendly features should be taken into consideration while selecting the heavy earth moving machineries. So the suppose you are going to select the drill machine. So selection of drill machine presently Pneumatic drill machines are in operation. Hydraulic drill machines are also available in the market. Hydraulic drill machines are fuel efficient and give higher productivity. So depending on that, you have to select the equipment. This is the comparison of various models of uh, uh, drill machines available in the market. What is the engine capacity, a working person, uh, rate of drilling, fuel consumption, travel speed, uh, fuel consumption, basic price of the equipment, and uh, the drill machine should have the additional features like central lubrication system, fuel saving devices should be incorporated, dust collector device should be there, 
and pre separator along with water mist system should be there electronic hole inclination uh, and depth control system should be there in the drill machine air conditioning and heat arrangement heating arrangement should be there in the cabin where the operator has to sit operator's cabin ropis and fops approved for comfort and safety of the operator heavy duty trucks should be there so that the uh, crawler trucks are should move from one place to other place rubber damped uh, cap mounted directly to the chassis to minimize the vibration of the machine uh, rod handler rotates 360 degree single man operation should be there these are the additional features you need for the drill machines then the hydraulic loaders excavators uh, the back hose decision for equipment should be taken on the basis of production requirement how much you are going to produce availability of the equipment in the market after sale services operating cost of the equipment initial capital investment all these things are to be taken into account while selecting the excavators so this is the bucket this is the uh, backhoe uh, in the, so in the backhoe or uh, sawbills there should be some additional features like low emission engine should be there low noise and vibration with hob uh, with lob or uh, dam damper county mounting large capacity or air conditioner highly reliable electronic devices should be there protected hydraulic circuit should be there auto idle and quick idle system should be there centralized lubrication system should be there economical operation and power control system should be there heavy lifting function should be there and uh, uh, whenever you are going to purchase the dumpers selection of dumpers will be mainly based on type of excavators all distance site conditions lead and lift and the, there should be safety features are also there the deployment of higher capacity dumpers will reduce the problems of traffic congestion on all roads and at crosser point which eliminates the unsafe working conditions presently most of the mines are using 35 to 50 ton dumpers matching with 4 cubic meter excavators sawbills with 4 cubic meter capacity excavator 35 ton dumpers are most suitable volvo tipers of 25 to 50 ton capacity are using at some mines are cost effective less fuel consumption and less operating cost but the application of volvo tipers are suitable for long straight haul road only the haul road should be 2 km and above if volvo deployed for shorter lead the cycle time increases due to more time required for placement at loading point and at unloading of tipper point there is reduction in the productivity of loading machine by approximately 5 to 10% due to less width of tipper more placement time and increased in number of placements volvo tippers are better matched with backhoe operation for higher capacity excavators the matching dumpers should be planned normally the dumper to be loaded with 5 to 6 passes therefore 50 to 60 ton capacity dumpers are most suitable in open cast mines bml and lnt comart so caterpillar are the main manufacturers for the higher capacity dumpers so this is the dumper uh, uh, picture which you can see dumpers this is a dumper so in the dumpers there should be some additional features like uh, automatic idling settling system should be there auto retard speed control should be there small turning radius should be there anti lock braking system should be there a memory card type payload meter should be there hydraulic control weight mid multiple or uh, disc brakes and retarder system should be there ergonomic design cabin should be there tiltable telescopic steering wheel and low effort pedal should be there electronic body dump control lever should be there hydro pneumatic suspension for all terrain should be there supplementary steering and secondary brakes should also be there selection of dozers cast mines 
dozer is a supporting equipment it supports in productivity improvement in the mines maintaining the overall housekeeping of the mine is done by the dozer upkeeping the haulage roads is done by the dozer case maintenance is also carried out by the dozer so you have to select a dozer of appropriate size for your mining operation so dozer is a support machine therefore in most of the mines there is less thrust on the use of it it supports in productivity improvement maintaining the overall housekeeping of the mines upkeeping the haulage roads phase maintenance etc regular use also helps in improving the tire life dozer of bml d155 or equivalent capacity is most commonly used in most of the mines this type of dozer is most suitable for most of the mines higher capacity will be required depending upon the special condition quantity of overburden to be handled ripping etc manufacturers of dozers are bml lnt kumarsu and lad caterpillar so this is the dozer additional features should be there in the dozers advanced resilient equalized should be there a rubber shock absorber is mounted on the x type buggy which decreases vibration and shock <coughs> independent x buggy and rubber pads cushions are incorporated into the track rollers this increases the actual ground contact area and powerful drawer pull is ensured because the track shows follow the contour of the ground joystick controls for all directions movement elevated sprockets are designed for better machine balance and component life and it isolates final drives from ground impacts in india the availability and the utilization of dozers have been quite below the expectation level for improving productivity of the mines and tires life adequate care for the hull road and base maintenance is needed for standard application of dozer bml d155 dozer is most commonly used and is most suitable since other dozers are imported requiring high initial cost with no other benefits for special application ripper dozer combination higher capacity dozers like bml caterpillar kumarsu can be used after detailed techno economical study and as per the requirement of the mining site then sometimes you have to go for purchase of the rock breakers rock breakers are deployed to eliminate the secondary blasting to win the rock without blasting you can use the rock breaker to eliminate the secondary blasting rock breakers are deployed these are used for size reduction of boulders for padding to the crossers the secondary breakers are fitted on hydraulic excavators and around 1 to 1.5 ton hammer is suitable for it nowadays tire mounted secondary breakers are becoming more popular for its maneuverability selection of rock breaker and its breaking tool depends upon the characteristic of the rock hence a detailed study is required before selecting these types of equipments to win the rock without blasting rock breakers are deployed in some of the mines these primary rock breakers are suitable at the places where blasting is not possible the cost of rock breaking is around 10 to 15 times of drilling and blasting cost this gives better result if rock is fractured by any other means uh, atlas copco kuru ramar these are the companies who manufacture the rock breakers this is the rock breaker there should be some additional features in the rock breakers like your vibro silenced effective noise and vibration damping mechanism should be there this is highly effective arrangement of elastic damping elements which isolates the percussion mechanism acoustically from the external grid system what spring arrangement with breaking action merits of higher capacity equipments are because of the following reasons higher production will get high productivity will get if you are using the high capacity equipments in the surface mines they are very fuel efficient reduced fleet increased ergonomic and safety features 
eco-friendly in nature, availability of advanced technology is there, requirement of less manpower is there, closed net operation can be carried out in open cast mines if you are using the higher capacity equipments. But there are two demerits uh, associated with higher capacity equipment, like a higher initial capital cost will be there, more lead time for spare parts uh, to get from the market. So the production and equipment requirement in the open cast mines, the mine wise mineral production requirement and reject handling may be calculated. And based upon this data, equipment requirement is to be calculated for each mine separately. Optimized planning is to be done for existing equipments and new equipments. And it has been observed that mix of both type of equipment at mines will optimize the production and manpower requirement. For using the higher capacity equipment at existing mines, some modifications such as bench height, width of hull road, problems in unloading at crosser point, etc. are to be studied. Standardization of a fleet of heavy earth moving equipment is given in this uh, slide. The following example can be worked out to explain the same. Annual production, suppose 58 lakh million ton you are going to produce. Number of working shifts in a mine, two to three shifts are there, A shift, B shift, C shift. Average working hours per day, 10 hours. Average lead distance, 1.5 kilometer distance of the hull rows. Bucket fill factor, 0.8. Job efficiency factor 80%, specific gravity 1.6 ton per cubic meter, dumper speed 25 to 30 kilometer per hour. By taking this, let us calculate for the case one, for above production requirement of equipment will be three numbers of sawbills of 7.6 cubic meter bucket capacity with 12 numbers of 60 ton dumpers. This option requires about 36 crores rupees capital cost and there is a loss of uh, 2.5 cents per ton in running and operating cost of sawmill and dumper only. This is mainly due to high capital cost of sawmill and dumper, and the mine may lose about Rs. 1.49 crores per year, hence not feasible. However, there will be reduction in number of equipments and operators. Case 2, for above production, requirement of equipment will be two numbers of sawmills of 10.8 10.5 cubic meter bucket capacity with eight numbers of 85 ton dumpers. This option requires about 31 crores of capital cost. Owning and operation cost is very near to some of our Indian mines. This is due to very less difference in capital cost of 7.6 cubic meter, 10 cubic meter shovel, and substantial reduction in month power from 34 to 50. Case three is for above reduction requirement, for above production requirement of equipment will be three numbers filled loaders of 9.2 cubic meter bucket capacity with 10 numbers of 85 ton dumpers. This option requires about 41 crores rupees capital cost. There is loss of 3.67 uh, per ton in operating and owning cost, and we may have to lose about 2.13 crores of rupees per year, hence not feasible. However, there will be reduction in number of equipments and operators. Case 5, 4 is for above production, requirement of equipment will be three numbers of loaders of 9.2 cubic meter bucket capacity with 12 numbers of 60 ton dumpers. This operation requires about uh, 37.5 crores of rupees capital investment and there is loss of 3.55 rupees per ton in operating and owning cost. And we may lose about uh, rupees 2.06 crores per year, hence not feasible. However, there will be reduction in the operators. Case 5, for above production, requirement of equipment will be three numbers of 6.1 cubic meter bucket capacity excavators with 14 numbers of 50 ton dumpers. This operation requires about rupees 35.4 crores capital cost, and there is loss of about 3.73 rupees per ton in operating and owning cost, and we may lose about rupees 2.16 crores per year, and it's not feasible. However, there will be reduction in number of equipments and operators.
for a sixth case, for ever production, requirement of equipment will be five numbers of four cubic meter bucket capacity excavators with 19 numbers of 35 ton dumpers. This operation requires about 17.3 crores capital cost and most economical among all the options available. For above production, uh, this is the seventh option. Case study seven. For above production, requirement of equipment will be three numbers of 6.5 cubic meter bucket capacity excavators with 13 numbers of 60 ton dumpers. This operation requires about rupees 37.3 crores of capital cost, and there is loss of about rupees 4.93 per ton in operating and owning cost. And we may lose about rupees 2.86 crores per year, hence not feasible. However, there will be reduction in number of equipments and operators. The eighth case study for ever production requirement of equipment will be six numbers, four cubic meter bucket capacity excavators with 19 number 35 down dumpers. This operation requires about rupees 17.22 crores capital cost and most economical uh, for selecting these equipment. The ninth case study is for ever production requirement of equipment will be three numbers of 6.5 cubic meter bucket capacity excavators with 13 numbers of 50 ton dumpers. This operation requires about 35.96 crores capital cost and there is a loss of rupees 4.11 per ton in operating and owning cost, and we may lose about 2.38 crores per year, hence not feasible. However, there will be reduction in number of equipment and operators. The tenth case study is for ever production requirement of equipment will be three numbers of 4.6 cubic meter bucket capacity excavators uh, with 13 numbers of 50 ton dumpers. This operation requires about rupees 35.48 crores capital cost and there is loss of 3.01 uh, per ton in operating and owning cost, and we may lose about rupees 1.75 crores per year, hence not feasible. However, there will be reduction in number of equipment and operators. The 11th case study for ever production requirement of equipment will be two numbers of eight cubic meter bucket capacity excavators with 11 numbers of 60 ton dump buffers. This operation requires about 34.86 crores of capital cost, and there is loss of 3.02 ton in operating and owning cost, and we may lose about 1.75 crores per year, hence not feasible. However, there will be reduction in number of equipments and operators. Then 12th case study for ever production requirement of equipment will be three numbers of 6.5 cubic meter bucket capacity excavators with 30 numbers of 50 ton dumpers. This operation requires about uh, rupees 34.52 crores capital cost, and there is loss of rupees 3.58 per ton in operating and owning cost, and we may lose about rupees 2.08 crores per year, hence not feasible. However, there will be reduction in number of equipment and operators. The 13 case study for ever production requirement of equipment will be four numbers of 4.5 cubic meter bucket capacity excavators with 13 numbers of 15 non dumpers. This operation requires about rupees 36.27 crores of capital cost and there is loss of rupees 4.32 per ton in operating and running cost. And we may lose about rupees 2.51 crores per year, hence not feasible. However, there will be reduction in number of equipment and operators. So at the end of this study, we recommend that the following observations should be worth noting. The higher capacity equipment are desirable equipment for handling high quantity of material due to the following advantages. Mining is predominantly a labor intensive function. Increased production vis a vis fleet of heavy earth moving machinery makes this function labor intensive. In today's competitive world, there is a, this is a major detriment. Obviously, a shift to higher capacity will bring about paradigm change in the equation. Higher capacity equipment, if found economical, can give the following advantages. Production improvement will be there. Lesser workforce will be needed. Closed net operation can be carried out. Reduced fleet size will be there. 
increased safety features should be there advanced technology can be adopted in the mines so based on the data available from various manufacturers the operation and owning cost per ton of mineral on different fleet of excavators and dumpers can be calculated higher capacity machines are having very high initial cost therefore economically not viable if they are initial cost could be reduced then networking for economical use can be done most of the equipments needs to be imported their service supports are not established and their spare parts cost will be very high although equipments are technically good but due to above factors availability of equipment is doubtful for deployment of higher capacity equipment there is requirement of good mineral deposit with uniform quality to be exploited so in the conclusion uh, i can say every mine management should add up heavy earth moving machinery which are environmental friendly of less ergonomic hazards and more safety features are there fuel efficient machines are there other maximum offer maximum productivity of the mine hassle free operation and maintenance cost is less before selection of equipment one must calculate owning and operating cost of each equipment and decide accordingly equipment selected for a particular mine should have maximum safety features minimum ergonomic hazards and eco friendly nature it will improve production and productivity and reduce raising cost of the mine Conclu every mine management should add up heavy earth moving machinery which are environment friendly have less ergonomic hazards and more safety features well efficient offer maximum productivity hassle free operation and maintenance before selection of equipment one must calculate owning and operating cost of each equipment and decide accordingly equipment selected at aditya's limestone mines are imported and having maximum safety features minimum ergonomic hazards and eco friendly so this is the panoramic view of lignite mine this is the mine layout uh, this is the bucket wheel excavator this is the bucket wheel excavator operating in the mines so this is the layout of the mine uh, amur lignite mine this is the spreading of the overburden material spreader is used to spread the overburden material this is the layout of the mine this is the uh, this is the backhoe uh, loading the trucks this is the spreader uh, spreading the material in the dump yard spreader this is the bench this is the bench height and bench width so this is the panoramic view of and lignite mine water problem in the mines uh, this is the back who loading the dumper these are the people working in the mines for loading of coal this is the mine layout mining methods manual mining mechanized mining specialized mining method in the manual mining labor intensive mining uh, mechanized mines are using the shovels loaders dumpers dozers graders sprinklers trains and uh, spe specialized mining bucket wheel excavators mobile transfer conveyor spreaders tractors reclaimers okay these are the mining operation so rock face laser profiler is used laser scans are made operator points laser at the face this is the strategy of uh, blast site location drilling blasting etc geology and mine planning blast design operation and implementation results and evaluation so this is the blast hole drilling coal burden report the 
borehole plot, cross-sectional view of mine, drill machine, is the crosser where the material is crossed. So this is all about today's class. Thank you. This is the last class on online last class. From tomorrow onwards, you'll have the offline class in room number 101 LA in the LA building, lecture hall complex. LA building, LA one building, uh, room number 101, your classes will be held. Uh, so we'll meet you in the offline class. So today, is the last online class. Thank you for your this uh, patient hearing. Have a, a good day. I hope all of you have arrived in the campus as so that you will be comfortable to attend your offline classes from tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.